A very, very good afternoon to you all. My name is Rappelang Ravana, as you've heard, and I've been a technology entrepreneur for about 10 years now. Today, I give you a snippet into innovation and entrepreneurship. My journey started at the University of Cape Town. I graduated 22 years of age in December of 2005. Less than eight years later, I was featured on the cover of Forbes Africa alongside Wendy Ackerman of Pick and Pay as a symbol of the next generation of young African aspirant entrepreneurs. The company I started with some of my classmates from UCT, Yego, built some of the world's earliest mobile voice over IP applications. In simple terms, basically the predecessors to the WhatsApp and Viber calls of today. Naive and bright-eyed, we literally Googled our way to success. We taught ourselves everything about how to build the software, how to run a business online. I'm now working on my second startup, Rekindle Learning, with the ambition of using technology to improve the efficiency of how we learn, how we build skills, how we build capabilities in corporate and academic environments, all with the aim of capturing the demographic dividend of this continent. I still wonder myself how it all came to be, because I know that there have always been people far smarter than me, people with far more social and financial capital than me. In trying to understand the purpose of my story and the relevance of my journey, I am confronted with the simple truth that the way we understand how value and success is created in the world today is changing. It is less about having something that nobody else has, but increasingly, it is about knowing what you have, knowing who you are, and working with that to your advantage. All I have ever tried to do was to follow the rhythm of my own soul, and I had no idea it would take me so far. You see, innovation and entrepreneurial thinking isn't something you acquire from some external source. Our society teaches us to look out there, to look at people like me for success. But to be able to drive yourself to your full potential starts with personal mastery. My talk is about innovation and entrepreneurship because it's not just about being an entrepreneur. It's about applying innovative and entrepreneurial principles from whatever your life context. And greater self-awareness is the starting point of leveraging key business traits, like the ability to build, to take risks, to take deep commitments. Let's look at how it can enable you to be innovative and to excel. You see, greater self-awareness allows you to do things that you are genuinely interested in, things that you're naturally drawn to, things that you are authentically connected to. And that authentic connection is that crucial thing that allows you to see new innovative angles into a problem, that enables you to tap deeper into an issue and gain significant insights or aha moments that ultimately deliver competitive advantages in business. Renowned investor and entrepreneur Paul Graham said, if you look at the way successful founders generally come up with their ideas. It is generally the result of an external stimulus hitting a prepared mind. The verb you want to be using with respect to coming up with ideas is not think up, but notice. So it's not an academic or intellectual exercise. It's an exercise in awareness. He goes on to say that whoever you are, you have a total of life experiences that have prepared you to notice opportunities around you. So you see, the distinguishing factor here is how you see the world. It's not just about knowledge and learning all sorts of things. You see, this is the source of competitive advantage because being self-aware allows you to unearth those viewpoints that you don't know. Self-awareness allows you to separate yourself from the circumstances of your world so that you see those circumstances as changeable, as movable, as non-permanent, as something that you can improve on. This is not just airy-fairy stuff. It is the primary source of competitive advantage and value creation today. In my talk, I give you an organic view of innovation and entrepreneurship 
that anyone can apply to make a greater contribution. I show you my truth, and I ask you, what is your truth? Thank you very much.